This is an application's presentation of laser stratigraphy being used for aerospace NET inspections. The applications included in this presentation are rotor blades. Here is an overview of rotor blade NDT applications. These applications include aluminum honeycomb blades, which can either be of the tail rotor or of the main rotor. This is a helicopter blade taken from a civil aircraft. It consists of an aluminum honeycomb construction. The top aluminum skin is 2mm and the middle aluminum core is 52mm. This application was performed using thermal excitation. Two 750 watt halogen heat lamps were applied for 7 seconds. The duration of the entire inspection took approximately 15 seconds, yielding an inspection rate of 0.4 meters squared per minute. There are two indications here of impact damage. What is also clear through the phase map image is that the individual cell cores are also identifiable. This application is of a tail rotor blade of an aluminum honeycomb construction. The test object size is approximately 1 meter in span wise length by 390 millimeters in the airfoil direction. This inspection was taken in three sections from the top side and three sections of the bottom side. Using vacuum ambient excitation from a pressure jump from 0 to 10 kilopascals, the duration of the inspection per blade section took approximately 10 seconds, yielding a total inspection for the entire rotor blade of two minutes. Here are the individual phase map images taken from the upper, middle and lower section on the bottom side of the blade and on the top side of the blade. As can be seen, there are multiple indications of potential defects. Here are the individual phase map recordings of the measurement. As can be seen in each of the phase map recordings, there are multiple localized indications of defects. This is an automation application for an NET inspection of a main rotor blade. The excitation method was vacuum ambient loading. The operator firstly selects the test inspection measurement configuration and inserts the rotor blade on a conveyor belt that takes the blade inside a vacuum chamber. Here it can be seen the operator adjusting the mounts and brackets to hold the blade in place during the inspection. The blade is then inserted inside the vacuum chamber. And the inspection commences. Both sides of the blade are inspected simultaneously, with one sensor on the left side and another on the right side. Here can be seen on the computer monitors, the image display and also the fringe display. The display method is then changed to the resulting phase display map. And then you have the resulting phase display. On the top left are the individual sections. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions or comments regarding the application of laser stratigraphy NET, please contact Dantec Dynamics.